Today we're going to talk about products I once hated, but I've fallen in love with. Sometimes when I purchase a product and I first use it, it doesn't give me a great first impression. But over time, as I use it, or maybe I try a different technique, I fall in love with it. So I have some great products to share with you that I now really think are amazing. First, we're going to start with a gommage. I am so loyal to the Mother Made gommage. I love this because it takes off the surface skin off of my face but then I wanted to try another brand and see if I could find one a little less expensive that would work so I tried out this one it's called even L ultimate brightening peeling gel when I first used it I did talk about it on my channel because it was more affordable and I did like it but now I love it over time as I used it I found I really got the same results as the mother made so this is less expensive I'm really happy about that and again this is to give my skin more smoothness uh, anytime I have loose skin from peeling from skincare this takes it right off it's very gentle this doesn't bother my sensitive skin so this has become a product that I depend on another skincare product that I didn't fall in love with right away is the Sukoyaka Suhada urea moisturizer now it is very emollient and that's why because usually I prefer because I do have combination skin a moisturizer that will uh, sink in quickly I really love gels and this one was very emollient very heavy on the skin so what I found is I just needed to use less I didn't need to put as much as I usually do when I'm using my regular moisturizer and I could still use it under makeup this is an amazing moisturizer there were some people online when I read more into it that said they use it like a mask they put it on wear it around and then maybe wash it off before bed what I do is I use this as my topper so I put on all my skincare that I'm going to use and put this on top and when I wake up in the morning my skin just feels amazing it really helped me through the winter time there were times when the weather here was 20 30 degrees and my skin got very dry so I really love this now I will repurchase but initially I really didn't like it I ordered some water blusher because this was much less expensive than the Daniel Sandler water blush that I love so much so I was looking for something more affordable but look what happened when I opened the bottle it looked like nail polish I had to read it again blusher this is blusher because I felt so strange putting this on my skin so the way the packaging was was a little off-putting to me but I put it on and it looked beautiful on my skin it felt like the watercolor from Daniel Sandler so as I wore it I really started to like it a lot so I ordered another one so I actually have two of these it's really so easy to to apply when you have it like this you can just put a couple of dots right on your cheek and blend it out and that's it so the packaging was what put me off in the beginning but now I'm a huge fan another blush that I initially hated and was sorry I purchased was this one from L'Oreal their glow paradise line it's very sheer and very gel like and you would think I would like that but I just felt like it disappeared so I ended up putting a little more product on and it worked much better now what I really liked about it was when I put it on top of powder when I put on a powder blush and then put this on top it gives it such a dewy beautiful look without being shimmery it just looks very youthful this has become my go-to for a really healthy look I was super excited when NYX came out with their Epic Smoke Liner. I love a smoky look, but a soft smoky, and I thought maybe I could achieve that with this. I love the slant on the liner. It's really easy to work with. And then you got a little brush right here. You don't even need to have a makeup brush to blend it out. Well, I liked it, but I wasn't over the moon. Actually, I was a little disappointed. I didn't think it worked that great as a liner. The, the shade was very soft 
and it wasn't intense enough for what I was looking for. But then I thought, why couldn't I use this as an eye crayon? Eye crayons are really pricey and they have so many shades in this. If it worked as an eye crayon, then I would want more. And that's exactly what happened. Today on my eyes, I'm wearing a mixture. I bought this shade. This is mauve grit. And what I like about this line is they have a lot of different shades. Shades that are a little challenging to find in typical eye pencils. And you know, many of these crayon liners can cost $24, $25 a piece. These are much less expensive and they're just fantastic. There is so much hype on Facebook, on Instagram, about Laura Geller's Baked Balance and Brighten, her foundation, powder foundation. Many of you have written to me and said how much you loved it. So I went ahead and ordered it, very excited to try it out, and I was a little disappointed at first, and it was my own fault because when I ordered it, I ordered the one that was illuminating. And when I put it on, there was a little bit of like glitter to it, and it just felt like it was way too much because she has a color correcting foundation, but she also has one called Bake, Balance, and Glow. So when you order these, you have to be really careful. What I did was I ordered the color correcting afterwards because I realized I had ordered the wrong one. And then I ordered the medium and the light. So I can tell you this, the medium is perfect for my skin tone. The light is a little light. It's more like using a translucent powder for me. But I love the feel of these powders. They're very finely milled. I just think they look beautiful on the skin. What I did too with the medium is I have spider veins on my legs and I covered them up with this. It didn't totally make them disappear, but it definitely took the edge off. I think if I had a darker shade in this, it would probably work for covering them. But I love this now. I don't use this usually alone. I like to put this on top of a very light uh, foundation or serum. So I might put like my Neutrogena Serum on or my MAC that I use and then put this on top for a more more finished look, but also a very natural look. The Brighten Foundation, I just put over my cheeks. It's sort of like the hourglass powders. It's so finely milled and gives a nice shimmer to the cheeks. I love putting this over blush to give a little more of a natural glow, but I've fallen in love with both of these products, and at first, they weren't my favorite. A few weeks back in a dupe video, I talked about the Anastasia uh, cream bronzer and compared it with the e.l.f. Now, what I learned through those comparisons, and I shared that in the video, is that the Anastasia really lasted longer. The e.l.f. looked great, but for long wear, which some of my days might be 12 hours long, the product would not disappear a little bit where the Anastasia would last. So I've been using this a lot, especially now as the weather is warming up and I really have fallen in love with it. At first, I just didn't know that I would love wearing a cream bronzer all the time. Usually I use a powder, but I like this. It really can blend easier into blush along the jawline. I love taking it down the neck. I think it makes the neck look a little more youthful. My neck doesn't get much sun on it, so it's a little different in color than my face. So this warms up my neck quite a bit. Maybe I need to try it on those spider veins. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do with this. But I'm really enjoying it. It blends beautifully and I'm getting so much more use out of it than I ever thought. So my opinion on cream bronzers has really changed and I don't hate them anymore. I actually think they're pretty great. I definitely changed my mind on this product. I used it a couple of times, hated it, heard so many great reviews and tried it again and I do love it now. And that's the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, the powder. I didn't like this at first because I just didn't think it looked great on my skin. And the problem was I don't like wearing it alone. I really don't enjoy wearing powder foundations alone. I like them on top of a very thin serum foundation. So when I did that, I really liked it. Another thing I didn't used to like that helped me to like this are puffs. I never even used these years back. 
now I use them all the time. And when I applied this with a puff instead of a brush, I liked it much more. So what I do when I use it is I go into it and then I do like this, just press into the skin. And this takes off any shine that I have. I get oily in the T-zone now, that changes with the weather. And in the summer, I get very oily there. And I can just take this, instead of a translucent powder, this covers up any redness because sometimes my makeup will wear off a little bit during the day with the humidity that we have here. So this way I get the color back. It mats the face so I'm not super shiny. And I really love the look. At one point, I said I would never buy a MAC paint pot again, and now I'm back in love with them. The reason was I just felt like they didn't work on my lids anymore, that my lids were uh, dry and they just looked too cakey, even as thin as I would try to put them on. I just felt it didn't work for me. Now, I don't know if they've changed the formula and they're a little more emollient now, or if just my own lids have changed, but I'm back on the MAC paint pot train. And here's Painterly, and this is not only useful for my lids, but I cover up, I use it as a concealer is what I'm saying. So I'll take my finger and go around my nose, and this particular shade will block out any of the uh, purple veins that I have around my nose. So I like this as a concealer and for a primer. I've gotten so much use out of it that I actually went back and bought a few more MAC shades in the paint pot. I like these for quick out the door looks. They look beautiful under other makeup. I like to combine them with powders I already have. So this is sort of like your flour and sugar for your makeup. You just can keep this in your collection and use it with thousands of things. So I'm so glad that this works for me again because I really do love it. Some products I've had an on and off again relationship with. At one point, I did like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Then I went through a phase where I just thought it wasn't working for me. But I think that was mainly human error. I was using way too much. When I started cutting back on the amount that I used and also placing any concealer that I used more strategically, I had huge success. This is sort of like a liquid version of the Becca color corrector. I've bought the Becca before and I think this works better. It spreads easier. I like to take the sponge off of it. The sponge can come off of this and then you can just turn the bottom and squirt a little bit and then I place it here here and then blend it out. I like to use it on my cheek as a very uh, great way to brighten your face without any glitter or sparkle. But I find I use this all the time. It's become a huge friend of mine, but we've had an on and off again relationship. I would say growing up and into my adulthood, one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks was the L'Oreal brand. I bought a lot of L'Oreal over the years and Revlon and I would say I probably bought the least of Maybelline. I just didn't think much of their lipstick. I don't know why, but you just gravitate towards what you go towards. But my opinion of Maybelline has totally changed. Their lipsticks have become such a favorite. I buy so many of them. I have tons of colors. This is one I love. It's called Pink For Me. I'm wearing it right now. Their lipsticks go on so smooth. They stay on beautifully. They're creamy. They don't dry my lips out. So I don't know if they've stepped their game up over the years either, but I have grown to just be such a fan of theirs. I'll put some of my favorite shades in the description beneath the video. All of the products are listed if you just hit show more or the down arrow and there are links there so you can go to the product and look at them. But they're so inexpensive. Most of their lipsticks run between five and seven dollars and I think they're absolutely stunning. Up until a few years ago, I wasn't that big of a fan of lip liners, but now I wear them every day. I just think if you're over 50, it will help so much to define your lips. As we age, we sort of lose the shape of our lips. And even though I was made fun of for having large lips as a kid, I don't think they're that big anymore. And so I find I can make them look more like they used to look 
look when I use a lip liner. One of my favorites from the drugstore is Maybelline. And then also another brand that I love, CoverGirl has great lip liners. And those are a couple of my go-tos and the Revlon Color Stay liners. Those last great. Now some days I will fill in my entire lip with a lip liner and put a little gloss on and go. Other days I will just use it to outline my lips and blend it with a lipstick. But a uh, lip liner has become a real necessity for me. When crayon shaped lipsticks came out, I just wasn't a fan. I think because they look too much like something I would use at school. But then I bought one and over time I fell in love with them. Revlon had so many great ones out that they don't put at the drugstore anymore. You can find some on Amazon and I've shown some of those. But this one's from Neutrogena and I'm so glad that they still continue to make these. They go on beautifully, glide on the lips. They're sort of a hybrid between a lipstick and a little gloss or lip balm. I love the shape of them because even though they do look like something one of my kindergartners would use, you can trace the lips with it. They add a lot of moisture. They're easy to work with. I like popping this in my purse because it's just a lot easier to me than a regular lipstick to use. So even though initially I was put off by these, I absolutely love them. Share with us in the comments if you have a product you used to hate that you love now. Now the winner of last week's giveaway is listed in the first pinned comment. Congratulations. I always love reading your reactions and you congratulating the winner. I think that's just so beautiful. I appreciate that so much and I'll be giving away another mirror this week. This travel mirror has been a lifesaver. So if you're interested, just leave me a comment. I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not subscribed to my channel and if you'd leave a like on the way out that really helps in the algorithm I really appreciate that and that also lets me know you like these kinds of videos I hope you have a blessed and beautiful week and I'll see you soon